So, you're probably wondering why I have war paint all over my face. <laughs> what a wonderful way to actually put a first video up on my channel, hey? Seeing as I've been a part of YouTube for, well, a while. <laughs> but uh, I just got back, well, a while ago, but I got back from bowling night, which was great. And although I didn't get to go to the whole thing, because... There are certain people that have very short patience spans. I got to go bowling, and that's where this comes in. Um, and what I'm going to show you next is, well, well, I'll then explain what else happened that night. This is going to make me look like a slut, or at least someone who has very little self pride. I wore this. Yeah, they they do they they're drawn right on. And then I have everyone I had everyone sign it in highlighter because it's black light, so it all shone and glowed. And I have it it was all over my lips and I have it all on my eyes. And I got into marker wars, so I look like a whore. And you know we're all in white dancing around because we get the music going and we're having highlighter wars. Then we. <laughs> we got kicked out at the bowling alley. <laughs> they didn't even let us finish our, our game, and after the money it cost us, we had to make us clean up the floor so the, the highlighter broke, and we, we got, <laughs> we got booted. And then, of course, we'd go to Walmart, and we we go start fooling around, and we're in there for a while, and then I hear, and I'm one of the few people that actually heard it, but I heard, I heard, uh, security to toys. We were in the toys. So they were going to try and kick us out there, too. So we were joking and saying, let's go to Starbucks. See if they'll kick us out of there. And it's a good thing we didn't move the handicap table, because then they might have. <laughs> so yeah, we, we were there for a while, and then the rest, everyone else went to go see Unknown. And they, they were probably, as I'm filming this, they're probably still watching it right now. But uh, Serena wanted me out of there by 9.15. No, we didn't start till 9.20. So I hope they actually got tickets. I don't know. Actually, it was a great night, and I really need to get out more. Because, well, it, it was bad. I'm sure there's going to be photos on Facebook of me being a slut. <laughs> That's what happens when the little repressed girl that wears her dress pants and suits to go shopping at the mall. I still remember the day my stepmother looked at me, you're wearing that's the mall? Yeah. But, um, <laughs> it, was, it was a good night. And for anyone that was there, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. I needed to get out of the house. It's been a while. And I know I was whiny and hormonal and... <sighs> and really, you know, how fun, how much fun craziness can I be, but it was, it was great, and next time, I want to do the movie too, <laughs> I want to see if they'll let us back into the bowling alley though, they probably will as long as we see, we don't have any highlighters, see, we did all our face painting before we came, <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna have a jolly time with the makeup remover in the morning, actually, I'll, I'll do it before I go to bed, just so it doesn't smear everywhere. But I'll, I'll try and get as much of it off, and then in the shower I'll scrub. Because, wow. Actually, I like, um, on this side, with the little black things in it. It's kind of cool. It, it was really cool in the, um, in the black lighting. Especially my, my nylons. <laughs> the newer one especially, they, they glow. And they're nude tones, so it's safe. Well then, that's some funky skin color you got. Never seen that on a normal human being. So, that was that. It was, it was a good night, but I still, I wish that we hadn't gotten kicked out, because that was, that wasn't interesting. It's the first time I would ever be kicked out of some place. Because that's a life experience. <laughs> what am I going to do next year? Everyone graduates this year. All the people that I hang out with, pretty much, for the most part at least, they Kenzie will still be there, and, and, 
that's sort of everybody. Like there's, I have acquaintances, but there's no one that I really click with. So I'm always spending a lot of time online talking to my to my friends that aren't in Beaver Lodge. Whether you were in Beaver Lodge to begin with, or you were never there in the first place. Um, and I'll probably get a lot better grades in school. <laughs> no, okay, I'll do that at lunch with you. Let's go get whatever it is. No, it'll be more, okay, I gotta get work. So I'll get a lot more reading done as well. It'll be nice. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you're still watching, I just, I needed to share. And for those of you that are wondering, yes, Serena was a lovely person this evening. She's been a bear all day. That's, that's what happens when you stay out at night, at night clubs at 40 <clears throat> years old. <laughs> so, I just can't wait to get out of here. Get out of her thumb. She's pushing me down. Just shove it off. Go away. That's one of the reasons I don't want to go into teaching because, you know, teaching, you go, if you go to Grand Prairie, there's a better chance you get a job right away. But if I go to Grand Prairie, I'll probably end up being stuck here. And I am 100% honest when I say if I'm stuck in Beaver Lunch or Grand Prairie or Alberta for the rest of my life, Edmonton and Calgary might not be so bad. But out here, I will probably end up hanging myself. And I that's not a exaggeration at all. I will either end up hanging myself or completely shutting down and becoming one of those closed-minded or conservative prats who votes for conservative people. <laughs> Versus my, I don't really like the government at all point of view. But if I have to, I'll go Green Party. <laughs> I don't even think of it as a Green Party. Remember that I'm out of here. They don't even try. <laughs> so, that was good. Think if I stay out here much longer, I'll get religion. And for those of you that are religious, I more power to you. You can you find it in you to believe in something. But I can't take anything on my faith, and you know, I admire you for the ability to do that. I really do. To to trust in something like that, that's I don't trust anything. <laughs> um, but uh, it's so brainwashing out here. I swear bad. It would be really bad if I stayed out here. Anyway, I'm rounding on the eight minute mark, so I'll let you guys go. Thanks for putting up with me for the last eight minutes of your life. Toodles!